friends, and clearly the bravest move seen yet in this Ukrainian conflict, the International Feline Federation has made a stunning, stunning move. Quote, the FIFE executive board is shocked and horrified that the army of the Russian Federation has invaded the Republic of Ukraine and started a war. Many innocent people died, many more are wounded, and hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians are forced to flee their homes to save their lives. We can all witness the destruction and chaos caused by this unprecedented act of aggression. The board of FIFE feels it cannot just witness these atrocities and do nothing. And... They're not doing nothing. They're doing something incredible. Henceforth, or at least until May, they say, no cats bred in Russia may be imported or registered in any FIFE pedigree book outside of Russia, and no cats belonging to exhibitors living in Russia may enter any FIFE show outside the country. Friends, this is brave. This is stunning. With all the things that we have seen, the fact that the FIFE was brave enough to say no more Russian cats really says something. Of course, this opens up many, many issues, doesn't it? There's the question of anchor kitties, for example, because they say that no cat bred inside of Russia can be taken outside of Russia. But then the question becomes, well, what about the ones that are perhaps conceived in Russia but born in, oh, I don't know, the United States? Do they become anchor cats? Does that keep that family anchored? These are the questions. Of course, there's hundreds of thousands of cats now fleeing Russia across all borders, just attempting to find some sort of refuge because they don't want to be caught behind this because they believe that they have nothing to do with the problem. But of course, they're being caught. They're being detained. But because the West is civil, the West is caring. They are getting the best of medical care and the best food possible. Of of course, there are just some cats that are just doing the best they can to survive this bad, bad news by getting drunk and falling asleep in their bowls. I will keep an eye on this. I will let you know if there is more to this story as it becomes available. But as of now, no more Russian cats. And I believe with all my heart that that will go down as one of the biggest difference makers in this conflict.